Harbinger. Do not let the tree falter and die. Turn back in class. In the name of Emperor Hindri, I command you. Oh, just shut up and fight. We're no match! We need the fury! Noticed all those locked doors we passed? Fancy mystical seals. And this one? This door is special. It's where all the emperors are buried. Think of all the secrets they took with them. Still, unless you're close to Indrik, there's no getting through. Huh? Just... How you do that? I don't smell the Emperor in there. Are we parting wise, then? What's with the jumping? Well... I can't keep Indrik waiting forever, so, um, good luck with your, uh, exploration.
From Vera's past, this is unexpected. I have much to tell you, so I need to bring you back to the Tree of Life. Terrible events leave traces in their wake. Harbinger, your search for the truth has created a bond between you and the priestess. You saw a key moment before her death. An omen that foretells Vodin's return. The vision confirms our fears. The godless priestess has suffered at the hands of the Emperor. But the question remains. Where is her soul? Harbinger, no more following your companions and hoping for answers. Now you will lead. When you choose your companion, you will show them the vision. They will know it to be truth. This is your omen sight power. With the insight it grants, your companions will help you pressure Indrik, so you may find the soul of the priestess. But who should be the first to behold the omen site? Ludomir, Draga, or Ratika? I will be watching over you. General! Give me two battalions and I shall capture the core for you! I do not doubt it. But those battalions would turn the battlefield into a graveyard. For them and the Rodentians both. I will protect you with my... Get out! Both of you! Now! That vision... There has to be a reason for what happened, Harbinger. You are the Harbinger, yes? Indrik. He may seem cruel, but there is always a reason behind his actions. That vision... That's the Temple of Yarborg, yes? There were engravings on the walls. Scriptures and patterns... I believe I can decipher them. Perhaps that will shed some light on this matter. General Draga! The prison! Riots! Have the captain send a detachment to quell the riot. I have another matter I must attend to. Come, Harbinger. Let us investigate that vision of yours.
My lady, you cannot disturb the Emperor. The ritual has already begun. Indrik is here. I suppose it makes sense. Step aside, soldier. Please! My lady! Studying the ancient scriptures would serve a practical purpose. In Pagaria, it is not a feline's place to study such things. Or lead armies, for that matter. No amount of study and training would have led to acceptance, had it not come from Indrik. Together, yes? These creatures did not dare tread these sacred halls, until now. Cyphers are coming! Everyone, ready! Harbinger. Time is of the essence. I understand, but I fear for those soldiers. Allow me. Guard up. That was not the last of them. Yes, General. Yes?
After we have finished investigating, we should have a word with His Highness. I want to hear his side of the story. Swordsmanship, Harbinger. Our emperors are buried here, under Yarborg's benevolent watch. Our patron god has been gone for three centuries, but the faith in Pagaria still runs strong. Your sword seems unwilling to harm- Let us see if there is anything here that explains why Indric would want to murder Vera. Ancient history is inscribed here. You know of Yarborg, yes? Of course you do. My apologies. I ask out of habit, considering what passes for history in Imperial schools. Yarborg fought an epic battle against Voden. That's the Void Incarnate, if you believe such things. As the myth goes, 300 years ago, Yarborg, wielding his sword Cladden, defeated Voden in battle. Here, Yarborg appoints the first godless priestess to watch over the world, Vera's spiritual ancestor. Then he withdraws from mortal affairs. Wait, this is new. This seems to claim the sword Cladden is real and surprisingly specific on its location. This is strange. Apparently, there is a ritual of ascension to become Yarborg's avatar. A firebird, the ritual requires an amber core. Once the transformation is complete, the Avatar is then able to wield Yarborg's sword. This must be Indric's plan. There is an amber core in the temple, and the guards were talking about a ritual. This kind of power, however, it's not meant for mortals. Vera would have said as much. Vera must have tried to stop him. And the Emperor killed her. What a senseless tragedy. If this is true, Indric has betrayed the trust of Pagaria and its people. 
and he may be placing himself in danger as well. We must find Indrik now. Come. My lady, I come with a message from His Highness. Where is he now? I do not know, my lady. When he heard you were here, he reacted strongly. He demanded to know why you were not in Rodentia, leading the army. He said, tell her to do her duty. Her judgment will come later. Then he departed. He just flew away. He must be after Cladden. And if these scriptures are correct, I know where he went. The scriptures mentioned a vault. Here, in the city. That is where the sword Cladden is supposed to be. Can you imagine? Artifacts of the gods, hidden in plain sight. are indeed legendary. If Indric finds Cladden and becomes this... this avatar, how will this change him? The power may prove too much. And where will his loss leave our armies? Or the people of Pegaria? Those feathers. Burnt. That ashen smell. This transformation into a firebird must be a literal one. This is the place. Look. The Imperial Seal has been breached. Together, yes? General Traeger, we are being overwhelmed! Attack everyone in sight, friend and foe alike. Friend? A man are speaking, sir. Ah, General. Permission to go treat these wounds. Granted. A seal, not ours. Rodentian, our way is barred. We cannot enter, nor could Indrik. That leaves only one path. It is not here. And no sign of Indrik either. Is Cladden in the other vault? And that Rodentian seal there, who placed it?
Special thanks to my patrons, Justin Wood, Hobbs, Coopy Vegeta, Gunrunner, Water, and Bat. You can join my patrons at patreon.com slash Holden Gatsby, follow me on Twitter at Holden Gatsby, and follow my Twitch at twitch.tv slash Holden Gatsby. Don't forget to subscribe to both of my channels. Thanks for sticking around. Bye.